Excel farm, as we promised you, that we'll be coming back to this farm to show you the progress of our, our birds. I told you about the F1 breed. This chick is now three weeks, and you can see the size of it. So it means that by the time that you will be eating three months, they will be ready for market. So I want to encourage you to have this kind of breed. That is F1, Croil F1, and you will not uh, regret because you're going to have very fast growth rate and also the production. <laughs>
And uh, the beddings of your pottery coop is um, sawdust. You might go up to even one week without sweeping or without changing the, the beddings because the, the waste which is in that house is very minimal because the work of uh, this pottery microbes, as I told you, is to make sure that all feeds are fully digested. So that means that the feeds, uh, the, the waste, or the droppings will be very little. And uh, you will not be sweeping each and every day. But if your farm does not have uh, sawdust, because also the work of sawdust is uh, to, to immediately absorb the, the ammonia, you know that wetness, because they are calvings and this hood, it will absorb that wetness and it will make the farm dry. So you can maybe, if you are not using pottery microbes, you, you can uh, choose to change after every uh, three to five days. But if you have uh, pottery microbes, you can even go more than uh, seven days without sweeping. But if you are not having the pottery microbes and you are not having um, the sawdust in your pottery coop, you are supposed to sweep twice a day. Not that. Because if you are, your floor is clear, when there is no feeds in that farm, the chicks or the chicken in that farm, in that house, uh, will start pecking on those wastes, on those droppings. And that means that they are taking waste and you will be a regular feaster to, to uh, agrofets. So you'll be doing a lot of treatment and you'll lose a lot because any disease which comes in your farm will uh, not go without killing one or two. So make sure uh, you clean in the morning and in the evening. The best time to clean your pottery coop, it is very early in the morning and very late in the evening. Reason being, uh, when you do it during the day, uh, you will disturb the birds which are laying and uh, they will have stress and all that. So you are supposed to do it when they are resting, like before uh, seven in the morning, before you give them the feeds. And uh, late in the evening after you give them the, the evening, uh, you, after you do the evening feeding. Uh, the other thing is uh, about, and that is what I want people to be very keen on. Uh, it is, we have talked about the sweeping and all that, making sure the floor is clean. And uh, now we want to go to another very critical point, which uh, makes birds die and have disease each and every time. Uh, it is about um, cleaning the drinkers. Once you clean your drinkers, we will be showing every part, each and every point. When you clean your drinkers, number one, you, 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 you clean your drinkers and feeders using uh, detergent like uh, bar soap. That is one of the best uh, soap that we use to make sure that uh, they, they are clean, to make sure it retains that original color uh, which came with it from the manufacturer. So after you clean, make sure you have uh, uh, enough soap in your water, you wrap it well, I sorry, you scrub it well. Then uh, when it is very clean, after you take off the, the bubbles, that the soap, you are now supposed to do another thing, which is very also important for you to note, that you are supposed to rinse those feeders and those drinkers. And this time around, you are not just rinsing with uh, uh, just pure water or just a normal water. 
you are supposed to take a water and disinfectant, the friendly one, not the corrosive one, like uh, this one. Like in our farm, we use uh, this disinfectant. It is very friendly. It will not uh, affect your your hands. Um, to make sure that all the bacteria in the water and in the wall of the drinker are fully uh, killed. You know, water has a lot of has a lot of uh, impurities and it carries a lot of bacteria. And some of the bacteria will uh, swim in the water, and when the chick or the, the bird is taking the water, it will uh, enter in the system of the the, uh, the system of the bird. And from that, you will start seeing the rearing, you will start seeing funny diseases in your farm. So with uh, with disinfectant, we have those disinfect disinfectant that rinses those utensils. Don't just see it very clean, and uh, you start saying they are clean. First of all, wash them with the soap. Make sure they are very clean. Then after that, you are supposed to put this disinfectant at a bottle top of this, like uh, 10 ml of this to a clean water now and you rinse using that to make sure that you know the bacteria which are in water when the bats are taking water some of them are left uh, on the wall of the drinker so when you put a fresh water it will uh, rise it will just come and start swimming in the water and uh, it will be taken by the bird and now that is the disease. But when you use the bacteria, uh, you, you use the disinfectant use, uh, to cleanse, to, to, to rinse that uh, uh, trigger and uh, even the, the feeders, it will die immediately. And now the water which is coming in that trigger, and maybe it is carrying those bacteria because of that rinsing that you did, because uh, at the wall, on the wall of the bacteria, on, on, of the drinker, we still have the reminder of the disinfectant. It will kill that bacteria which is coming with the, with the, the water. So that is also very important. Make sure that you wash your utensils they are, you make sure they are clean. After that, rinse using a disinfectant. Go to our comments, ask us the name of the, the best dis disinfectant that you can uh, use to rinse. They are there in the agrofet, which are very cheap, and they will keep your farm secure. That is a point that I wanted each and every one of you to, to note and to put it in practice. Because you've been asking a lot of questions that we followed your videos. We have been uh, doing vac vaccination. Our birds are F1. Why are they dying? I wanted to answer this question to make sure that if those mortalities, mortalities that you are getting from your farm are coming from uh, poor hygiene, in your farm. If you just go step by step, the way we've trained you, the way we've uh, uh, shown you, because we are showing you how you are supposed to do it, just make sure you do that. If you are away from your farm, make sure the farm manager who is attending your birds is practicing these things to make sure that your bat will not die because of poor hygiene in uh, your farm. So that is all that I wanted all of us to know today. And uh, before we conclude our, our video today, I will, I'm requesting you to, if it's your first time that you are watching us, it's your first time that you've come across this channel, 
make sure that you don't come out of this video without subscribing because and once you subscribe also remember to put on the notification bell so that next time that you are making a video like this or a better because we are doing a lot of videos you will be the first one to be notified by youtube and know that we have a new video that we are training because our work is to make sure that your farm is safe is producing and it is making profit so for now uh, i want to leave you with that uh, knowledge put it in practice and uh, we meet in our next video bye bye